Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome to my Detective Pikachu movie review. So Detective Pikachu was a movie I really wasn't expecting much from. Not because I don't like Pokemon, I have tons of memories watching the Pokemon anime, collecting the cards, and I still play the games to this day. It's because video game movies don't have a good stigma around themselves. Not to mention Ryan Reynolds is the voice behind Pikachu, which he sounded a lot to Deadpool with me when I saw him in the trailers. So I went to Detective Pikachu with low expectations, and I thought it was honestly going to be a bad movie. I thought it was going to be another Super Mario Bros. But I'm glad to say that it was actually a decent movie. So the story of Detective Pikachu is about Tim Goodman, a kid who gave up on being a Pokemon trainer at a young age and dislikes Pokemon due to his father spending more time with the Pokemon than him. His father dies in a car accident leaving him a mess until Pikachu, who only he can understand, tells him that his father is still alive. So they go on a quest to find out where his father is and what happened to him. Now first off let me tell you that this movie is extremely predictable. You can actually guess what happens from a mile away. Fortunately the story of Detective Pikachu is actually decent. The idea behind what they were going for was good. Having this mystery of memory loss for Pikachu and having him team up with Tim going out and ask for questions felt much like a buddy cop movie. And some of the moments between them are generally funny. And one thing I did not expect were the heart to heart moments that they had, which were actually pretty fantastic. But if you're going into this movie looking for a fantastic class A story, you're gonna be disappointed. The main characters of Detective Pikachu are Pikachu and Tim. The relationship started off rocky, but eventually, over time, they grow to like each other. And this part of the movie was done fantastic and very, very well. It wasn't developed too fast, and you get to know these characters in this movie. Unfortunately, that's where the good characters stop. Lucy, Howard, the Lieutenant, the Professor, all these characters feel like background characters, except for Lucy. She comes off more as an annoying, energetic side character, which is only because this character gets more scenes with the other two. I think they could have done a much better job with these side characters and I think they could have fleshed their characters out or at least give us something that makes them like these characters. I mean Mewtwo back in the original Pokemon animation movie that came out in 2003 I believe got more character development than Mewtwo and all the cast in this whole film so that's really saying something. This is where Ryan Reynolds shines, and shines bright. His voice acting for Detective Pikachu was fantastic, and honestly, I didn't hear Deadpool. Not once did I think that, and I'm glad I didn't. Some of the best scenes are with his energetic snappy jokes and witty banter, but there are also fantastic scenes during the downtime, the serious moments between Pikachu and Tim, and they were really well voiced. As for Justice Smith, he did an okay job. I wouldn't say he's gonna win any awards or blow anyone's mind, but he met the requirements and, and made you believe he lives in this world where Pokemon are real. Unfortunately for Ken Watanabe, he was wasted in this movie. For those hoping to see some kind of big role for him, you're gonna be disappointed. He was barely in this movie, and only shows up for a couple short scenes. And as for Catherine Newton, oh my god, this was a bad casting. I get what they were trying to do. They were trying to make a Misty character, but I think they should have did someone else. They should have casted someone else who can actually act, because the acting was bland, it was annoying, it was too energetic, and honestly, I almost I almost felt like I was watching a character from the Pokemon anime, and I don't know if they did that on purpose, because if they did, bravo, but if they didn't, then oh my god, why? Now the presentation of this movie was actually really really good. The CGI was damn near perfect and I loved it. The characters blend into the green screen so well which actually surprised me. I honestly thought CGI was going to be a big problem in this movie but it's actually the opposite. It's actually something I want to commend whoever did the CGI in this movie. The Pokemon honestly I thought were going to look creepy but they don't look creepy at all and not once did I think oh that looks very very wrong. I was impressed with how the fur on Pikachu actually looked. It was fantastic when it got dirty, when it got wet. It looked all different and it looked fantastic and some of the Pokemon honestly did really look good Now there were a couple scenes here and there for split seconds that I thought oh Maybe they should have spruced up the CGI in that moment But overall there are some big scenes that have some really good CGI I mean I'm talking inception level CGI that they're using in this movie and it was fantastic I'm really surprised how well the characters blended into this world of Pokemon And now that I know that they can make a universe get these Pokemon right the CGI and overall just make a pretty good movie out of a live action Pokemon movie. I'm hoping this becomes a MCU or DCEU type universe. I'm hoping they do a shared universe because that would be insane. 
Overall, this movie was good. It's not perfect, and I wasn't expecting it to be. Detective Pikachu has some good action, decent humor, some decent characters, albeit some of the characters were less than desirable. But overall, Detective Pikachu was a good time at the theater. I'm giving Detective Pikachu a 7 out of 10. Now, this is my opinion. If you've seen Detective Pikachu, tell me yours in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for my next movie review. Thanks for watching my Detective Pikachu film review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.